the pace. I want to be able to report back to Cypress ASAP. Lock and load! Hello everybody, it's me Lex Lofer, and today I'm bringing you Nuka World from, uh, on Fallout 4. Uh, I'm going to shut up now for the rest of the video, uh, but I hope you enjoy the first hour of it. settlement at Nuka World. But when we got there, found out there are raiders the whole time, just stringing us along. I managed to escape, but my wife and son are still back there. I wanted to get some help and go back with them, but didn't count on taking a bullet. Let me help you first. I have a stim pack. No, no. I'll be fine. Save it for my wife and kid. For Lisa and Cody. I'm off. 
offering you a way to heal yourself. Why pass that up? Damn. Look, you got me. I ain't injured, okay? I just can't do this anymore. The raiders back at Nuka World put me up to this. They lure people in and kill them for fun, and I'm done doing their dirty work. Let them find me and do what they want. Let me help. I'll go face them. You don't have to die. Are you? You're serious? Just be warned. This ain't no walk in the park. Here, take this. It's the password to the monorail control terminal. Fastest way to get to Nuka World is to take the Nuka Express. But I shut it down to help sell my story. It makes it more believable if I say I'm trying to keep the Raiders at bay. Find the control terminal in the office to power it back up. And once you're on your way, be careful. Parents, if you're looking for a refreshing way to make it through the day, try a Nuka Cola Dark. Cola taste with an alcohol twist. missing an item, stop by our lost and found at the main gate. Your turn to you for a nominal I fee.
Attention all mine. I think we're done with the rules out there. In case you haven't noticed, looks like we got ourselves some fresh meat to run the gauntlet.
spots with their song. Maybe. Yes.
Wired up yet, Gage? Yeah, boy. Finally. Now go shut off that damn alarm. All right. On it. Uh, now where? Ah, there's my next victim now. <laughs> Don't look like much. Here's a quick rundown how this works. You go stock them, make yourself presentable. Then we're gonna give these folks a show. A show where I decorate these walls here with your lovely brains. Thanks to this suit, I'm the only one that wins this fight. Period. You think that power armor will do you any good? Think again. All right, Gage, let him through. Something tells me I'm really gonna enjoy this. No small back under their control. It's almost time after a run like that. Now that they've set up shop, I've told them many times. Nice. This ought to be the best water yet. Remember, Hawkins' survival time against Coulter still stands at 1 minute 37 seconds. All right, listen to hell up. If you want to make it out of this alive, I've only got a minute. If I need a calm on the wall, I'll make it quick. Gonna do this or not? Who is this? I'm the guy that's gonna get you out of this alive. So listen up. All right, I'm listening. My kind of guy. Look, you made it this far. You obviously got skill, but this fight coming up is rigged. Do you get me? Over boss Coulter. His power armor is set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Guns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? I wouldn't expect anything less from a raider. <laughs> you know us well, then. You want to win? I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it.
Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. <sighs> well, I've always wanted one of these. Would have made a great toy for Sean. Oh, great. You're a lucky day. Congratulations. Now we can get on with it. Once the water hits Colter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Consider it done. That's what I like to hear. All right, it's time. I'll open the door. See you on the other side.
survive the dawn. He was smart enough to take my advice and strong enough to kill Colt. He's what we need. How about we show some respect for our new leader, eh? He'll get respect when he earns respect. Amen. So you boss dead. Out of the way. What's the difference? Either way, good riddance. The plan was a success. <laughs> Thanks to you. <laughs> Not a bad plan. And what do you know? On and everything is coming at you real fast. Well, but you need to listen. Let's open. on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, taking over Boston Park. Guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. First you lure me in here, and now you want me to run the place? Something like that. Let me explain. There are three raider gangs that run the show in Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move. We're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. We all owe him our thanks. Into that later. Now I'm sure you got a lot of questions. This ain't the place. the overbosses. Your new quarters. The restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There. How about some? is crazy. He calls me. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other, though. Are you sleeping or were you not? Yes, I was sleeping, okay? It's what people do when they're exhausted. Ever since you guys took over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the bloodworms. You can either do your job and earn your keep, or... We can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there. 
alone and unarmed. No! No, I'll, um... I'll get back to work. That's better. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how high were they when they built this place? These collars get damned hot after a while. Well, hello there, young fella. Welcome to Nuka World. I'm Mira, your friendly Nuka World International Robotic Assistant. Is this your first visit to Nuka World? As a matter of fact, it is. Well, that's terrific. We're so happy to welcome you to Nuka World. Now, before you set off on your grand Nuka adventure, let me tell you about... Error. <laughs> System d -d -d malfunction. Are you finished wasting my time, you filthy lowlife scabber? Because I'm getting bored, and when I get bored, I get violent. You are clearly suffering from some kind of major malfunction. The only malfunction I've got is this idiot scabber standing in front of me. Maybe I should solve my little problem permanently. System restored. Oops, sorry about that little glitch. Data logs indicate unauthorized tampering with my personality subroutines. Please contact a Nuka World maintenance technician as soon as possible. Tell me more about this tampering incident. Internal systems monitoring recorded an unauthorized shutdown and reboot. When functionality was restored, several behavioral parameters had been altered. My audio receptors recorded the entire event, and I submitted a holotape recording per Don't you worry. Even despite that unfortunate incident, I'm still operating at well over 61% normal capacity. As I was about to say, I have a little tip to help you make the most of your exciting Nuka World adventure. Be sure to collect park medallions as you enjoy our amazing rides and attractions. There's a special reward if you collect a full set. If you have any questions about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, any time is the right time to enjoy a cold, refreshing Nuka Cola. What if I want a place to relax or get a bite to eat? Where should I go? Why, you're already here. Nuka Town, USA is a great place to unwind and enjoy a delicious meal. If you're searching for a tasty treat your kids will love, take the whole family to Kathy's Cafe. Looking for a romantic night out? Dinner and a show at the parlor. Want a commanding view while you enjoy a world-class dining experience? Head on up to the Fizz Top Grill on Fizz Top Mountain. If you're up for a challenge, test your skills at the Nuka Cave or take a wild ride in one of our cola cars. What else would you like to know? Tell me more about these park medallions. I'd be delighted to. Spread throughout the park are several dispensing machines that will give you a special park medallion. Once you've got a complete set, just bring them back to me for a special reward. I'll keep an eye out for these machines. Happy hunting! What else would you like to know? Tell me about the different areas of the park. With pleasure. Set a course for the stars in the galactic zone and see the amazing future of mankind's journey into space. Explore Starport Nuka and blast into adventure aboard the Nuka Galaxy Roller Coaster. Travel back in time to Dry Rock Gulch, where you can walk the dusty streets of a frontier town. See history come to life in our authentic reenactments of cowboys and gunslingers as they tame the Wild West. Witness the wonder of nature in Safari Adventure, home to an amazing collection of exotic animals from all over the world. Challenge the hedge maze and climb the towering treehouse, where you'll enjoy a commanding view of our magnificent menagerie.
Be sure to visit Kitty Kingdom, a magical realm where fantasy meets fun for the whole family. Your younger types will love to go for a spin on the giant Ferris wheel. And be sure to take a tour of King Cola's castle. Finally, in celebration of its worldwide debut, we've revamped the World of Refreshment ride to feature a river of Nuka-Cola Quantum. What else would you like to know? No questions for now. In that case, thanks for... Error. <laughs> System malfunction. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face, you miserable dung-sniffing dirt scratcher! System restored. Have a great day! Go check that out. That was the five stars. You're tuned to the Commonwealth's only respite from the tedium and desperation of the most Diamond City Radio. Consider yourself a mighty, mighty man. I know I But then, we can't all be trapped alone. You're gonna head on in, old boss. You haven't seen anything that's, um, out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something hidden, shaped like a bottle cap. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. If you're looking for something, you can find it there, like everyone else. I'm not here for the market. I didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping. I don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain either. So if you want to live, I suggest you stay where you belong. Oh, you guys are real friendly, aren't you? Sure, Nuka we World! Guns, I've no. always dreamed of coming here, it's and now I finally here. made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it is pretty impressive. It sure is. You can just imagine the children, smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka-Cola and having the time of their lives. It must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka-Cola museum? Yeah, the Nuka-Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. Really? That's great! I'm so glad word is catching on. Maybe I'll get more visitors soon. You just made my day! Here, let me return the favor. It's not really cold anymore, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. I could help you out if you want. Oh, no thanks. I kind of need to keep this a secret. It's really important to me, and I just don't know you very well. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka-Cola fan. I've been obsessed with the stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find. Like these awesome cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh. And the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. Bradburton. I remember that name. He was the guy who invented Nuka-Cola, right? Exactly! Wow, not a lot of people know that. At least not anymore. So, to win the contest, you had to find ten images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well... I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world. 
and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. Sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here, after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! That last one died too fast. Never did get why Coulter brought in three games. Hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control. Now that you're in charge. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Hell of a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumbs. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. Wait, what kind of mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. The gang started staking out as much territory as they could. All being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Ain't gonna lie. I've heard about you part of that railroad, ain't you? I don't give a damn about their little crusade, but guess I know you've got some fight in you. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack? Hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. 
Show some teeth, I guess. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leader. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. out there listening to Diamond City Radio always enjoyed the radio plays, right? The ones about the dreaded Silver Shroud. We've had them in rotation for a while now, and they're a fun little adventure. Only now it seems the adventure has become real. That's right, folks. The Commonwealth now has its very own superhero in the form of the Silver Shroud. Or, at least, someone dressing up like him. Crime and Good Neighbor has a new enemy, it seems. Why would someone don that costume? Your guess is as good as mine. Probably better, in fact. The Good Neighbor resident Kent Connolly swears that he was actually rescued by this Tommy gun toting hero. So I guess if you're out there and thinking about breaking... ...consider steering clear of Good Neighbor. Or else... You need something, boss. Sweet.
Okay guys, I'm going to end the video here, so thank you for watching. I've been Lex Lofer, until next time, bye.